I was pulling my camera out here when a little vole appeared out of the corner of my eye. This Andean mountaineering team filmed a video of this mouse scurrying across an alpine snowfield at just over 20,000 feet on the slopes of this volcano called Zhuzhajaiko. The reason why that footage was so surprising is because no one expected mammals to be able to survive and function at such an extreme altitude. And that's what motivated us to go there and conduct a survey of mammals on Zhuzhajaiko. It was a, a, a one month long expedition and it involved some friends and collaborators of mine, Marcial Quiroga Carmona and Guillermo Delia. And then we also had a, a world-class mountain climber, Mario Perez Mamani, who's Bolivian. We started off surveying sites over a broad range of elevations to figure out what species existed in this general region because it's a very unexplored part of the world. The sites where we were trapping, we were gradually increasing in altitude because as we were conducting the survey, we were also acclimatizing ourselves in preparation for the, the really extreme high altitude portion of the, the expedition. And so after a couple weeks of trapping at kind of intermediate elevations, we then made our way to the volcano. We established a base camp at 16,500 feet, maintained trap lines there for over a week, and then also established a high camp at 19,500 feet, maintained trap lines there, and so as a result of this trapping effort, we have altitudinal records for numerous different species. And then Mario and I made a summit attempt, and so this is eight to nine hours of, of climbing to arrive at the summit. The goal of the expedition was to document the elevational range limits of the native mice there, and if we succeeded capturing any mice at the elevations where we were setting traps, it would definitely be a world record because no one expected mammals to, to be living at such extreme altitudes. Un ratón, Jay. No lo veo. Está debajo de esa piedra. And so when I first arrived there on the summit, my friend Mario started telling me that he had just spotted a mouse scurrying across the rocks, literally on the, the summit. Finally, it dawned on me what he was telling me, and so I, I quickly kind of came to my senses Fortunately, my, my reflexes were still good enough that I was able to actually capture this mouse on the actual summit of Zhuzhajaiko. So this was our world record mouse. The fact that there are mice living at, at this extreme altitude is really surprising. So just over 22,000 feet. So at that altitude, there's roughly 40% of the oxygen that's available at sea level temperatures are, are basically never above freezing and can drop as low as minus 60 Celsius. It's an extremely hostile environment. Given that the same species exists at these extreme altitudes and also its range extends all the way to sea level, one of the obvious questions is whether the mice living at the extreme altitudes have evolved specialized genetic adaptations to survive and function under those conditions and whether they, they differ genetically from members of the same species living at sea level. This discovery makes me think that we've underestimated the elevational range limits and, and physiological tolerances of animals simply because the world's highest summits are relatively unexplored by biologists. So there, there's a lot left to do. Mm -hmm.